I want to rule her for life. She can never marry, never. Men accomplish this, but she cannot. No one will stay. I chase them away. I chase them away. The more they come, the more they go. Maria? I've seen a official that she's going to be the one to rule the family. And I said, I said come on. I don't want her. I don't want that to become something in life anymore. Because if it becomes, my own children will be powerless. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. And that was how she received our deliverance. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle working God? So, madam, you're very welcome in Jesus' name. Can you tell us your name and your wonderful testimony? My name is Abdullahi Juliet from Kogi States. I want, I'm here to, to thank God for delivering me from the spiritual husband for many years now. The problem started when three years ago. I always have a dream. I only have a dream. A man, a strange man, making love to me in my dream, telling me that he's going to be the one to get married to me and we have our kids and we live together as a happily home. So when I woke up, I noticed nobody was with me. But in, in the dream, it was real. So this problem started. I don't know what to do. I called my sister, I explained to her, auntie, problem. I don't know what to do, Reverend Samara. Every time a strange man comes to me, make love to me every night, every night. So my auntie say, continue praying. We pray over it. Because of that, my relationship is not steady. When I have a relationship in two years, everything will go without nothing. There's no problem about it. I tell my sister, and see, a problem has started again. No man is staying with me, and I don't know what the problem is. Auntie is saying, there's no problem that will continue to pray over it. So, from 2020, I was working, a man came to me and said, Fine lady, do you know you have a spiritual husband? I said, sir, I don't know. He said, you have. Before I can turn my back, I can't find anybody anymore. I went to her aunt and said, Auntie, a man just talked to me now, but I can't find him. Where is he? He said, nobody is here. I went to him and called my senior sister again. I explained to her. She said, it is where. I said, amen. So when the problem was much for me, I have to go and look for a solution. Looking for a spiritual, sp spiritualist so that he can help me. So I got there, I explained to the man. The man said, there's no problem anymore. That this is the right place that is going to help me. I said, thank you, daddy. He said, you are welcome. So when I got there, the man said that I'm going to buy a new cloth that I'll be wearing. All my body, everything has to be new because I'm going to become a new person after you deliver me. I said, okay, sir. I said, daddy, I just came back now from village because I lost my, my in-law. So I don't have any money with me to go and get any clothes. The master is going to give me a money that I will use and buy everything. I said, okay. So we have a program for six days, and I try to enter the four days. After the four days, the man said, today is the last day, which I'm going to do an IVG. And after an IVG, I went to work. He called me. He said, Juliet, meet me somewhere so that I'm going to del deliver you. I said, okay, daddy, maybe when I close, I'll come. So I call my elder sister, Dancy, finally. Everything is going to be fine because this man is going to deliver me now. He said, okay, thank God. I said, boy, not about thank you, God. Continue praying with me because this man, I don't know what is happening. He said, there are many that are going to pray with me. I got, oh my God, I got there. I was surprised. Daddy, where are the people that want to pray with me? He said, my daughter, don't worry. Come, I'll deliver you. I said, okay. I said, Daddy, remember the last time? Before I even get to the man, it was 
a man wants to get us for my hand in marriage. He said, the man is not ending enough to take care of me. That I'm too pretty to have somebody like that. I said, Daddy, I can manage. He said, no, don't. Okay, I left, the, I left that man and I have another person from Spain. He's a rich guy. He's a footballer. He called me. I'm coming to Nigeria in six months to have for my hand in marriage. I said, finally, God, I'll answer my prayer. So I told my auntie that, auntie, continue praying. Last, last, my family will become something because I came from a poor, poor background. My auntie could say, continue praying, we're praying. So when I went for the deliverance, the specialist said, before my problem will be solved, I have to have an affair with him. And by the time you have an affair with him, then a rich man more than the footballer will continue coming. I told the spiritual leader, if that will be the end of my life here, because nobody was with us, just two of us, I'm ready to die that very day. I said, whatever that wants to happen should happen now. That me having an affair with you. It's not possible because I was not brought up that way. You are a man, you are a spiritualist. You are supposed to pray along with me and let it come to pass so that when good things come, we enjoy it together, not having an affair with you. He said, you are very stubborn. I said, sir, I know. My mom always said I'm stubborn among the children you have. But this, I can't do it. The man said, okay, if you are not ready to do it, then pack your things and leave. I said, sir, there's no problem. You're not my God. You're the one that's going to, this God that solves everybody's problem. So the man let me, I called my sister, because when I was going, my phone was on call. My sister was listening to everything. So I left. So when I got to, I was crying at the same time. I said, God, thank you for saving me. If not because of you, maybe by now I'll have died. Because the man, before he can assist so many people, you have to have an affair with them. Even people that look for a child, you tell them, come, let me have an affair with you, you're going to conceive. Some have an affair with him, and some did not. It's when I left there, I was not having the remorse. So what now happened after that encounter? So this payment that said is coming for my marriage, because I did not have an affair with the man, and the man scattered the plan. From that day, the man stopped calling. No guy come my way anymore. I remain single like that. Every day of my life is tears. I was like, I said, God, why is all this happening to me? Why is all this happening to me? So I asked my sister that it's time to sort this thing out. Maybe I'll look for somebody else. My sister and I said, if you have somebody that is going to introduce to me, which you always go there for prayer. So the man called me. He told me, he said, listen, your problem, where your problem can be solved is when you go to the synagogue's church of all nations. <laughs> so, thank you. So, a good three months ago, the man would say, Julius, you have not gone there. I said, sir, my work, and secondly, I don't know how I can go there because the place is a bit far from me. He said, I've told you that where your problem can be solved is synagogues. The reason why I did not accept it is because when daddy was alive, I said... So, I'm, madam, we know you have a lot to say. So, can you tell us what finally happened when you came to the synagogue church of our nations? When I came to synagogue church, <laughs> it was awesome. I, where I sat down, the prayer deliverance was going on. I told myself that here today, as I'm here today, I'm going to be delivered. So I sat down at the other side. The evangelists are not coming there. I stand up, ask somebody, Ma, please, it's my first time here. How is it? Can, after every, all the prayer and deliver, are the evangelists coming to this side? The woman says she don't know. I stand up, I say no. 30 minutes, I stand up, I went to Mr. Anosha. I said, if I can't live here without being delivered So can you today. tell us your experience when the evangelist was praying for you? <laughs> when the evangelist was praying for me, it was as if there was fire on me. I told the man, remove your hand from my head. Remove your hand, there's fire. But to God be the glory at the end of everything, God deliver me. And I'm set free today. So, madam, we thank God Almighty for the deliverance. So, after your deliverance, can you tell us the changes you've noticed? Yes. 
When I came here on Monday, they prayed with me. I went to work on Tuesday. On Wednesday, my madam living in U.S. She had been coming for many years. She did not recognize me. But on that Wednesday, she called me and said, Julius, are you still with us? I said, hey, the God of Proverbs 2, Joshua has started working on Gerardi. So, madam was like, thank you so much for being with us for so long. And may God bless you. I said, thank you. I said, in my mind, I said, Mama, I don't know what is happening. The God of Synagogues is working. So, about... So, after that, on my way coming back from work, men were started calling me. Those that stopped calling started calling. The people I didn't know accept their proposal. So, my ex, they started telling me, uh, Juliet, why do you do such thing? You are supposed to be my wife. Why? I say it's truly God's time is always the best. I want to thank God, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, for changing my life, for delivering me, and I believe that it is permanent. In Jesus' name. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle working God? So, what about the spirit husband and those attacks you have in, in the past? Everything has gone. I'm not experiencing it again. I always have a spirit of anger. Like little thing, I get angry. But since on Sunday I came to this place, my younger sister is staying with me. And she has been asking me, and say, what is this? These days, you will be happy. Even when I do something wrong, you always smile over it. I say, my sister, it's the Lord doing. Indeed, it is the Lord's doing. Shall we put our hands together for the miracle, miracle working God? So, madam, with what God Almighty has done for you, what advice are you sending to viewers who might be under this torment of the spirit husband? Okay, to the world. The word of advice to the world is, no matter the situation you are facing, no matter the challenges, just believe God will do it. And don't rush to any churches or spiritualists for any, ad any help. Believe in God. Everything is permanent by God's grace. Les du monde entier, nous venons d'entendre le témoignage de Madame Juliette Abdoulaye.